Just a casual stroll on the Venice canals with a not so casual lens. Can you guess which one it is? Okay, this just arrived in the mail today. It's probably not what you think it is. It's a vlogging lens. Yes, this whole box. Let me show you what's in it. Okay, so this ridiculous lens is Sigma's 14 millimeter F1.4. Okay, so I rented this lens for only three days. And actually, they tried to deliver it three days prior, but I wasn't there because I wasn't expecting it. And then they delivered it to an advanced car auto body shop on the day that they were supposed to deliver it to me. So I did a wild goose hunt to try to track it down and find it. And I finally did, but most of that day got eaten up. So the latter part of the day, I was here at the park with my son during golden hour. So that was actually nice. Whereas yesterday I went to Venice Beach because I wanted to sort of try to vlog in public on this lens. God, so one thing I hate doing more than anything is trying to vlog in public. I found a little alleyway that I can sort of sneak into and this is the least conspicuous setup that I could imagine. A huge lens and it's a crowded day, sunny day, beautiful day at Venice Beach. So I don't know if I'm going to do any walk and talks. <laughs> this is a big issue I'm trying to get over. I thought maybe I'd go the opposite spectrum and get a bigger lens instead of a more compact to see if that could like desensitize my vlogging fears, but here we are. And I thought that would be a good idea to try to do it when there's a lot of interesting people around and the crowds would sort of drown me out and then the fear would go away, but it didn't work. But instead what I found was as many diverse and interesting people there are there, there's also diverse and interesting buildings. So I started to take pictures of the architecture and there's a vast array of different styles from newer to older to craftsmen to graffiti everywhere and it's such an interesting place and to have a wide angle lens to capture it is sort of perfect because it has this distortion and today i'm at the park again and i'm realizing because of the way that there's a distortion at the edges that it made one architecture very interesting because it distorted the perspective gave it this surrealist quality but also allowed you to, to fit in a whole building now i'm going to try that with trees and i'm noticing it's doing the same thing with trees where you're getting the trunk of the tree has this, you know, normal depth of field, but shallow, of course. And then the edges of it, where the limbs and leaves are, is very distorted and again, surreal. And I'm realizing I really enjoy that look. And Terrence Malick makes movies with very wide angle lenses to give it that surrealist dream quality. And I'm noticing I like that. I will say I'm gonna be sad to give this lens back. I didn't do any astrophotography stuff. I will try to take some shots at night tonight, but I'm not really in a place that doesn't have a lot of light pollution in Los Angeles. So I thought I'd be comfortable now talking in front of the camera. Um, I'm in the middle of the park at night. Nobody's around for a hundred yards. I can hear them, so I'm assuming my voice carries. Uh, regardless, it's pitch black. I'm at 12,800 f1.0, f1.4, and my shutter is at 1 60th. I could probably move that back to 150. Um, but it is pitch black. There is no lights around. So I'm pretty much getting the screen. It's probably reflecting my face a little bit. I should also note that I'm using Gamut's S-Log3 conversion, Rec 709 conversion. It's only $25, which comes with the S-Log2 and S-Log3 in the file. I use it, I monitor uh, my footage with it. I would probably not shoot an S-Log3 as much without it, so it's really nice to see. I'm looking in the monitor. I can see the colors. You don't need gamma assist, which usually ruins it for me. This looks like it's gonna look when I put it in post, because I'll just slap that LUT on. So you can monitor your look with it and you can use it in post. Check them out in the description below. All right. My hope was to give you a perspective of something that you wouldn't normally use this lens for, that in fact you can use this lens for, which is nature and architecture, as well as vlogging although it's the most ridiculous vlogging lens you could possibly get. It's hard to sum up how big this actually is, so I have to show you from a bunch of different angles. Here's an angle. 
Now the cool thing about this as a vlogging lens is I can hold a camera really close to my face. As you can see, there's a good minimum focusing distance like this, and you're still getting all of the environment and you can hear me through the mic. So I don't need an extra boom attached or any other um, accessories. So you're getting good audio and you're getting this sort of intimate feel. I am really enjoying it and I'm gonna be sad to let it go. And maybe I'll have to think about getting a different kind of wide angle lens. And although I may not end up keeping this lens, it did give me an idea about two other lenses. Of course, there's Sony's GM 14 f 1.8 which also has this big bulbous front cover so you can't put a VND on. And then I thought about Viltrox's 16 f 1.8, which is much smaller, much cheaper. I think it's like 500 bucks. And I think the difference between 14 and 16 isn't that much. I mean, it's, it's literally moving a little bit closer. An f 1.4, an f 1.8, I don't think you're gonna notice that big of a difference, but I will notice the size and I will notice having more money in my pocket. So even though I rented this one lens, it's given me an idea or decision on two others. So that's why I think renting before you buy is always a good idea if you're not sure, especially with more expensive lenses or cameras or lights, really any gear, that you're not ready to buy yet, or you just may wanna rent it for a day or two on a project. This would also have been great for real estate, and now I'm wishing that I did rent this for that, but maybe in the future I will because it's probably cheaper than buying it, but we'll see. Okay, so this is my other Sigma Ultra Wide F1.4 lens, but the big difference is it's $1,200 cheaper, so it's an easy recommendation to buy and not just rent. Whereas this is 16 millimeter F1.4 APS-C lens, but it's still on my full frame Sony zv ones And I have dynamic stabilization on, which is probably roughly at about 19, 20 millimeters right now. So you're getting this great depth of field and full coverage. And again, it's like $350. But the great thing about lens rentals, if you wanna rent the Sigma 14 or the Sigma 16, if you wanna keep it, you can actually buy it after. So I got this idea from my friend Oliver Wea, who is also a content creator here on YouTube, and it was his video that inspired me to use Lens Rentals, so see if he can inspire you now. The reason I keep going back to LensRentals.com is how easy they make the experience of renting a lens or a camera body. Their wide selection of lenses and cameras is very impressive. When I have called them for support, they have been super helpful. Even the emails I have received from Lens Rentals have shared in my excitement for renting that brand new Sony A7C II. And of course, returning a lens or a camera is super easy and simple. With 24 hours left, I love that they send me an email that tells me the equipment is due and there's a link for a drop-off location near me. I have found this exceptionally helpful as I have returned cameras and lenses from Utah, North Carolina, and the 412, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Thanks, LensRentals.com. The best thing about Lens Rentals is it's painless to send it back. And I'll have Oliver show you how you do it. All you do is put the camera back in the bag, put the bag back into the case, close it all up, put it in the box. They even give you the shipping label and tape to reseal it. All you then have to do is go drop it off at whatever carrier you decided to drop it off with. So thank you for your time and attention. We've got a bunch more videos like this on the way, so consider following along and subscribing. All right, thanks guys, bye.